Satan was an outgrowth of military strategies following the First World War, where armies hunkered down for months in the trenches, battling in the mud, fighting for inches of territory at the cost of millions of lives. By the mid-30s, the demands for a supreme military weapon take shape. The U.S. Army Air Corps wants a modern bomber. They want something with the range, the altitude, and the speed capable of delivering a load of bombs on a target. It's their vision of what future war will be. In 1935, the Boeing company develops a breakthrough four-engine, long-range aircraft that can carry a two-ton bomb load and is heavily armed, the B-17. The excitement generated by the B-17 leads many air power advocates to claim the bomber could fly anywhere, unescorted. In flight, the B-17 is a formidable fighting machine, operated by a 10-man crew, each one with a specific job. In the front of the airplane, you have the bombardier. His job is to drop the bombs in the bomb bay in the center of the aircraft on the target. The navigator's job is to guide the airplane to the target. The two pilots right behind them guide the airplane, operate it, fly it. The radio operator on a B-17 performs the critical function of communicating with the other bombers in the formation. For the rest of the airplane, it's all about the defensive armament and employing that in defense of the airplane. The top turret gunner, the waist guns, the ball turret on the bottom, and the tail turret all defend the aircraft against enemy attacks.